G'day, g'day. Welcome to Wicked Wildlife. Now, uh, today we wanted to have a chat about one of the probably most misidentified lizards in the country, and that is, of course, the legless lizards. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. We'll have a bit of a chat about these guys. Hey, little boy here is Lieutenant Dan. He's a, an eastern hooded scalyfoot, which is one of 41 species of pygopods or legless lizards found here in Australia, as well as New Guinea and, and one offshore island, which is the only place these guys are found. So they are as Australian as koalas, just we don't necessarily seem to know as much about them. But uh, these guys are really cool, and the reason we call them pygopods rather than legless lizards is that leglessness isn't necessarily a trait that alone makes an animal a legless lizard. You see... Around the world, there's lots of others, but here in Australia, the skinks actually have some members of their family, uh, in particular the Lorista skinks, which are, are losing or have lost their limbs entirely. So you can be a legless skink without being a legless lizard, if that makes sense. So uh, pygopods, is, or flat-footed lizards, is a far better name. In fact, they're actually far more closely related to the geckos. The fact that they've got fused eyelids, they lick their eyeballs clean, and uh, they lay two eggs at a time. Uh, they basically live lives in a very gecko-like fashion. So some people actually class them as, as in the same sort of sub-family as, as a lot of our geckos. So pretty cool. The other thing about these guys, or this guy in particular, is unfortunately this little bloke, the eastern hooded scalyfoot here in Victoria, is actually listed as critically endangered. Now, one of the biggest problems that he faces is he likes to live in cracks in the soil or in places where there's dense vegetation, like low shrubby growth, and uh, debris, sticks, rocks to hide under sort of thing. And of course, out here in Western Victoria, which is just where they managed to push in, uh, we can't grow crops and nice green grass on paddocks covered with debris. So the first thing we do is we pick everything up, we graze all the grass down, and then we plough it up, breaking up all the cracks and all the clods so that we can grow nice green grass. Unfortunately, it means that this bloke's got nowhere left to live. So we should be helping him out. And some of the little things we can do, is uh, when you're cutting firewood and stuff, all the tops, all the crap that you normally rake up in a little pile and burn so it doesn't look like an eyesore, that pushed up against a tree where it's not in the way of anybody, uh, provides some little microhabitats where hopefully these guys and their relatives can cling on because I'd like them to be here in, in 100 years' time for my grandkids to have a look at them and see them, and uh, I hope you guys do too. The other thing that these guys have a, a real issue with is obviously people mistake them for snakes, and uh, often they meet the bad end of certain garden implements. So not that that's the way to deal with any animal, snakes, koalas, polar bears, or what, but uh, there's some very big differences with these guys and the snakes. Unfortunately, they're very little to look at. Uh, the first one is snakes, of course, will have a forked tongue. In Australia, other than the goannas, all our lizards, including this guy here, if he wants to show us, but I doubt it, have a, a fat, fleshy tongue, kind of like a blue tongue lizard, just a little version. The other one, you might not be able to see, but he's actually got that little hole behind his head there, his ears. Of course, snakes don't have ears. Lizards all do. So uh, ears and a flat, fleshy tongue makes him a lizard, not a snake. Of course, there's all sorts of things internally, but they're two that we can actually see with the naked eye without having to do a dissection on poor Lieutenant Dan here. So uh, as always, guys, please, if you like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for all the support so far. It's been great to have people watch us. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Other than that, guys, as always, Find a way to help out our wildlife and have a good one and take care.